Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Uh, tonight I'm planning on doing a good number of reviews because I don't know what kind of time I'll have next week and uh, I just want to redo some of these older ones that I haven't done in a while. So I'm going to start out with Quick Heal 2011. This is their new version and uh, we can open up here. You can see they uh, changed the interface a lot. It looks very smooth, uh, modern, efficient. It really reminds me a lot of Norton 360. The same kind of pattern, except I like these icons a lot better. Um, I think F-Secure is the same way too. So I installed it and I did update it. You can there's a button here normally if you want you can update if it's not updated you can right click and update now and there you go and it comes with different things you know regular file folders security DNA scan detects and eliminates new and unknown malicious threats and if you click the little arrows it gives you more options you can turn on and off things checks your email, internet, network, firewall, phishing protection, and external devices like um, it will scan external hard drives and auto run protection. So let's see what the task manager shows. So we have one here, this is the mail protection, this is running about 14 megs. Here's another one, this is the online protection, that's about 4. We have uh, another online protection, about 3 updater 1.5 the actual scanner itself 18 and a couple of different services here that are associated with it so you're looking about 40 megs let's say and group these 20 this one plus the rest of them so let's call it an even 40 megs so it's not super heavy but not super light either so I have I don't know 13 links or so here so we can do some testing here. These are all new. So uh, we'll see if some of these, it looks like some, some of these aren't even working anymore. Okay, that one was access to that website was blocked, so that's good. The interesting thing here is it doesn't uh, let you bypass that. Okay, and that one was blocked. Okay, we'll let that work and do whatever it's doing in the background. Okay, that website was blocked. That website was also blocked, as you can see. There you go. So it looks like they've improved their web protection a lot. Looks like that one finally came up. So I haven't seen anything from the antivirus component or the DNA. Here we go. Okay, the DNA scan warning. That one has access has been denied and the file has been quarantined but it doesn't say what it did which is interesting it's a possible threat but it doesn't say what it actually tried to do okay I think that's where we left off okay that one is blocked Okay, that one was blocked. And it looks like that one doesn't work. Yep. 
Okay, so let's see if we have anything that's real obvious running around in memory. Don't see anything real obvious, but we saw that one, at least one of these, ran and we never got anything, any type of warning or anything. So what I'm going to do now, like I normally do, I'm going to do a scan. There it is. We're going to do a full system scan. So I'm going to let this do a full scan. We'll see how long it takes. And I will be back when it's done scanning with the results. See you then. Okay, so I'm back and uh, it finished scanning and it didn't find anything. I did sh It did show these three warnings but if you go to the action part it's three temporary internet files and what it says is file is suspicious and then it says file is skipped. It didn't give me any pop-ups to do anything with it so I guess that's that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy my tools over and then uh, I'm gonna run CCleaner First, I'm going to reboot, then I'm going to run CCleaner to get rid of everything, and then I'm going to run Malwarebytes. So I'll be back with the results from Malwarebytes. Alright, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here, and it looks like I found one thing. So it looks like a registry key got changed. Let's see which one here. Something to do with the internet zones, but it won't give me any more information. That looks like it added something there. It was part of the hijack, the hijack zones. So we'll remove these. And now it has been removed. And I'm going to do a scan with Super Anti Spyware because I have the time. So I'll pause the video and I will be back when the scan is done. Okay, so uh, Super Anti Spyware finished, and once again it found this registry key, which I think, I'm pretty sure by now, that it's a uh, false positive, and apparently they haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. Because I've had it on multiple ma virtual machines that I was testing, and I've also had it on my machine, which I know isn't infected. So, last but not least, I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro here, and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so Hitman Pro finished, and it looks like it um, left a Trojan behind. And if you go, I opened up, and you can see it right there. So what I'm going to do, just to test it out, you can see that the application is on. I'm going to double-click this file and see what happens. So apparently that's a, that is a Trojan download, and you can see that it went and tried to download um, some malware from that website. And I wonder if it's still running in memory. Nope, looks like it couldn't. If it couldn't get to the website, it shut itself off. So it would have been nice not to see this dropped in there, but it still did protect. So final, um, I guess. Uh, decision on Quick Heal 2011. They've really improved. Um, their user interface is real nice, slick, easy to understand, easy to use, nice big buttons, not too complicated for the new people. But if you dig into it, you still got you know some settings if you really want to change things. So I like that. Memory usage is not bad. It seems really fast. I didn't notice any slowdowns on this machine and um, I on purpose don't give it a lot of RAM. I only give it about one gig and I only give it one core of the CPU so it would be like testing on a lower quality laptop. And um, what else? It comes with some interesting settings. You know your internet settings it has parental controls here so you can restrict things. That's nice to see. I don't know how well the firewall would work, but I, I would imagine it would probably be decent. So it's not bad. From the 2010-2011, they've really improved a lot, and I'm sure that next year they'll even do better. So hope you guys enjoyed this review, 
and I'm going to go on to some of my other ones. So I'll talk to everybody later and take care.